Good morning everybody. My name's Christine. I'm from SH Crafts Australia and I'm here today just to show you how I do glossy photos and transfer them onto non-porous items like dominoes. Okay, so what you'll need is a bowl of water. I use Mod Podge, a brayer, a paintbrush, a domino of course, or whatever item you're wanting to put it onto. I use these tiny little scissors to cut. And then of course you'll need some photos. Now I just um, print these photos up on my inkjet printer onto glossy photo paper. So um, I have bought most of these just off Etsy. Um, but you can use any photo if you've got photos at home that you wish to um, transpose. The only thing you have to remember is if the photo or the picture has words on it, the words will show back to front with this particular technique. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Now I'm going to do one of these outlandish colours that my grandchildren love. So all I do is I just... Now I have watched a few YouTube videos to do this and this is the way I do it. So okay I just paint some Mod Podge onto my domino. Now, oh, um, she wants that one. Okay, now I usually just wriggle it around a little bit until it stops wriggling. Um, the, that way you know that it's stuck. And just in case, uh, the reason why I do it from, put the Mod Podge on the domino instead of on the paper is this way, I, it just moves better. Okay, so once it's stuck, I get my brayer and I just give it a good rub over. Turn it over. And give it a rub. Now that has to set, so um, that will, we'll have to leave that now for... I usually leave it for an hour or so just to set. So I'll just pull in this one that I prepared earlier. Okay, so all you do is you just trim around the edges. Now this is a... Um, technique that does take a bit of time so it's not something that you can just do all in one sitting um, you have to do it over a couple of different sittings okay so just pop it down into the water oh sorry and you'll also need some paper towel now the back coating on the glossy photo paper the, um, the gloss is on one side, however, the actual backing of it is quite strong as well and non-porous. So that's why I drop it into the water now, because what I need to do is, I just want the water to get into the very edges of the backing so that I can lift that backing piece off and it doesn't always come off in one piece no, that's okay okay so once that backing piece is off when we drop it back into the water you'll actually see it has quite a few bubbles on it because now that's just paper and you know once paper gets into water it just dissolves nearly okay so we'll just leave that in there for a second Okay, so what you do 
is you just rub with your thumb or your finger, whichever you feel comfortable with, you just start rubbing the paper on the back once it's wet. And you'll get this whole, all the paper will rub off. Now when it's like this, I'm usually a bit tough with it um, and firm. Because there are quite a few layers of paper here to get through. So when it's at the beginning, I'm usually quite rough with it. Um, pull up quite a bit of paper. Um, like that. And you can see that the image is coming through. The paper. So you can start to see your image on your domino. Okay, now like I say, this does take a number of processes. So once I've done a fair bit of that, I actually put it aside to dry. Once they're dry, they come, the paper turns white again. And so you can see how much more paper it is you've got on there um, to, to pull off. So then I just dip my finger, my finger or my thumb in the water now. I don't actually dip the tile in there anymore. And see, once the paper gets wet again... You can see the picture quite well while it's wet. It's only as it dries that you realise there's still more paper on there. So that's why I do it in a number of stages. And I just keep wetting it, letting it dry, wetting it, take some paper off, letting it dry. So that's why I say it does take a little while to do it. But it is something that you can start doing, put aside, and then come back and do later. Because all you really need is a bottle, is a container of water. Once you've actually put your photo onto the item, all you need is a container of water and you can sit anywhere and do it. Okay, so that's probably enough for that one. Now, I only do small bits at a time. You, I mean, you can do it however you want. So that's that one. That's the one that I've just done before. Now this little cherub um, is nearly there. She just has just... Now this is where I start being very careful when I do this. Because as you get less paper on here, it is very easy to rub too hard and you could take the photo off. Now once um, once you get to this stage when it's a little bit wet like this you can just move and I'm not sure if you'll be able to pick this up on the camera or not but you can move it and the, the shine will show you where the paper still is. Uh, where it's dull, that's where there's still a bit of paper. So you just rub a little bit. So she might only have one more rubbing, I think. Okay, now here's another one that I had done earlier. It's very, very close to being ready. Now your picture will be quite dull when you finish. Um, and you have to put either glossy accents or sometimes I use UT over the top of them. Um, something to give it a bit of shine unless you want it to be that sort of colour. Now that one is nearly nearly done I think I'll just 
Now you'll actually know when when it's dry. Sorry, I just wipe my hands. When it's dry, it's very very smooth, very smooth, and then you know that you've got all the paper off. So this one is um, I finished it last week, and it's very smooth. Um, so and the picture's still on there. So I'll just show you a couple that I have done before. I'll just get some. Just wipe that water up, and it's a little bit messy. Okay, so these are some that I have done previously, and they've got glossy accents on the top of them. So that's one I did for Christmas. So you can use any sort of thing. This is one that I've made, <coughs> sorry, into a necklace. Put a bale on the end. So they're my photo transfer technique. And I'd like to thank you all for watching.